Hello, everyone, and welcome. I know I don't stream very often, but uh, since uh, Matthew has decided to abandon us, I'll go ahead and try to play a few games. Uh, either just if you want to watch, that's fine. If you want to join in, that's fine, too, if you have a chance. And welcome, Thomas. Glad you could join us. Unfortunately, I can't do uh, Babylon 5. don't have access to that, but... Maybe one of these years, uh, Matthew will actually do that. But we haven't played um, Risk for a while, so I thought I might give that, give that a shot. And welcome, Professor. Glad you could join us. However, if you're talking, I can't hear you at the moment. Anyway, we'll go ahead and create a game. I'll, see, I'll wait a few minutes to see if anybody else is interested in joining in. If not, I'll just throw, put on some uh, AIs and we'll go from there. I have the free version of the game, which only has a few maps. Oh, maybe we'll just go ahead and try one of those. I have the United States, Konigsberg, which is apparently a huge Prussian city, the classic map, and something called Arcanus. Does anybody have a preference? If so, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pick one at random. Lots of different maps on here to choose from. If you buy all the map packs like Africa, Russia, Canada, Brazil. Uh, Thomas says, never saw Arcanus, or Arcanus, or however that's pronounced. So, sure, why don't we go and try that one? It says it's a time unlocked exclusive map, whatever that means. Okay, I'll stick with manual placement, progressive cards. I don't like fog of war, so I'm going to turn that, leave that off. But I do like to turn the blizzards on. Changes up a little bit each game. Yeah, so if anybody who has Grisk and they would like to join in, we have the code on the screen here. It's R U eight P W. Uh, yeah, it does seem like it may be available only for a short time. So I'll go ahead and throw up a couple of AIs while we're waiting. Blue Crickets and Elizabeth Kanita. Uh, yes, uh, Thomas, I noticed that as well. Matthew said he's interested, but he's nowhere to be found. And uh, yeah, the professor is busy, but I think he might be back soon. Which would definitely be beneficial, because I could use a, our best co-host here to help me out. I don't know if anybody else is around. I think it just occurred to me that if I don't get another player, I can't play on this uh, on this mode. If I'm going to play by myself against the AI, I have to go back to a different mode. But that's all right. Not everybody's probably busy right now. Especially Matthew, apparently, who's uh, busy uh, ignoring us while he's getting ready for his um, bike riding stream where he's going to probably terrorize more old ladies. 
we know how much he enjoys that. Uh, oh, yeah, so Matthew finally decided to join us. Harsh but true. Well, that's the way we roll around here. Also, anybody who's welcome to join us on the panel, whether or not you're interested in playing the games, if you just want to chat, that's fine too, assuming I haven't scared you off. I know I probably do that to a lot of people. Though I left off the camera, so you don't have to be intimidated by my beard. I know that probably scares people. Well, since I don't think anybody else is going to be coming to the game, I'll just go back and play a game against the AI, and then we can see how it goes from there. We can do some of that, or we can do some other games if anybody else is interested. So I'll just go and do a single player. Let's still check out this new map, though. Ah, welcome. Geeks enjoy. I'll go back to uh, the blizzards on. Everything else looks good. So we have Lucius Plimpton, Herschel Stoneface, and Jewel Gibbs a lot. I'm sure there's something offensive about that, but I'm not sure what. Anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Now, I have to say the AI in this uh, game isn't terribly advanced, so the games aren't very challenging. Um, but um, at least it give you a chance to practice a little bit, especially on new maps. And Professor, it's Matthew's fault. Well, that's obviously true. If you're ever in doubt, it's Matthew's fault. Let's take a quick look at what the uh, regions are for this map, since I'm not very familiar with it. Okay, I guess it looks pretty simple where the different areas are. So let's see where we want to start from. Now let's try up here in the corner. I want to welcome also uh, 47 Yorktown. Thank you for joining us. And when even Matthew is blaming Matthew, then you know how bad it is. So move on down to the next section over here. Yes, Matthew, we know that you, you're terrible with names, apparently, even when you're typing them. But please, I'm going to have to ask you to watch your language. I know it's um, it's hard for you to uh, restrain yourself, but please, there might be you know, children watching or something. Hmm, yellow. You couldn't just let me have that area, huh? Okay, fine. I'll keep that in mind. Yes, hi diddly ho indeed, Matthew. Go around the donut looking thing over here. Where to next? Well, nobody's up here in the upper right yet. Let's take that out. You added an article, Thomas. Excellent. Glad somebody to stay on top of that while we're I'm risking over here. It's got to be close to 600 by now. Oh, 
almost filled up the map. Some more spots. Okay, so we'll start reinforcing now. Oh, 564. Now we'll be at 600 before we know it. Move this over a little bit. I can't see the edge. There we go. That's better. Oh, yellow's moving over in over here on the left. Have to be careful about that. Well, at least you could admit it, Matthew, that you have no one to blame except yourself. Yeah, admitting you have a problem is the first step in overcoming it. Not that I expect you actually to do that. Yes, this is an unusual map. I think I've tried it a couple times before, but I'm still not that familiar with it. And Thomas is asking at what time Matthew would stream tomorrow if he decides to actually do something, that is. Th Matthew's thinking each area could be a different board game. I can kind of see that. It's not one of your craziest ideas. And he said plenty of crazy ones, trust me. This tin over here is making me a little nervous. I'm going to go before yellow, though. I if I can do something about that. Yes, yeah, so I guess Matthew has to scope out where the most old ladies are so he can terrorize them during his supposed bike ride tomorrow. Yes, Matthew's refusal to stream Babylon 5, definitely one of his more insane ideas. I don't know what he was thinking, honestly. If he wants to do a hilly country area, he would do it earlier in the morning. If he wants to stay nearby, I would do it in mid-morning. And yes, Matthew probably will stream while you're sleeping, Thomas. That's the kind of thing Matthew would do. Okay, I'm going to put my reinforcements over here to try to block off that uh, 14. One thing I have noticed before is that the uh, computer players are not very aggressive. They'll tend to avoid large armies. So I'll concentrate up here, this area on the upper left. Yeah, if we can clear out orange and yellow. There we go. And yes, I'll probably do it while you're working as well, Professor. Okay, we've got that area secured. That's enough for this round. And what, Matthew, you can't stream from 1 a.m. to 5 p.m.? You got something better to do? Come on. Move these down here. There we go.
with all this time, you could have been streaming Babylon 5, but you're not. You should have plenty of free time for any, you know, an extra long bike stream. What is that, 16 hours? Yeah, I can't agree more, John. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you joining us, Professor. Uh, my pleasure. Sorry, I was uh, eating, so I had myself muted for a while. Well, eating is kind of important. Yeah, especially since I uh, haven't ate since about 11 o'clock this morning, Central Time. Uh oh. You had a long day at work today, I suppose. Yeah, no longer than any other day. It's just uh, a little bit later than usual for a Thursday. You said uh, somebody was out of town. Is that why you had to work uh, late today? A uh, co-worker was on vacation this week, so I took her evening ship shift um, this week. Oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, I thought so. I don't mind evenings, actually. I'm always a more of an evening person myself as well. See if I can take out yellow from this apparently canteen over here. <clears throat> mm. Go, John, uh, go. No, thank you. I'm attacking the police. I don't know about that, but I have to clear them out. Well, just as long as it's in a, um, a video game, I guess it's okay there. Yeah, it's not a real place, so it's okay. Just reinforce uh, back up to here. There we go. Now I'm getting worried. Thomas and Matthew are too quiet in the chat right now. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I wonder what schemes Matthew's planning. Well, maybe he's going to tell us. He says, so since I'm pretty much guaranteed to be biking while Thomas is sleeping, anyone else have a preference for where I'll be? Well, since you're going to be doing it while I'm working, um, I don't have much of a preference myself, Matthew. You should ask the little old lady what she prefers. <clears throat> Oh, she'd probably say, in hell. You have a good point there. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas says, bike to Jeff's work. That'd be That'd quite be a bike, bike ride. I'm yeah. sorry, John. That's not what I was going to say. Uh, considering it's about a four-and-a-half-hour drive... Matthew says, that's a bit far, Thomas Potts. But anyway, I'm not much of an early morning person myself, so if you're asking for my preference, um, later morning would be better for me. But you do whatever works for you, Matthew. Matthew's yeah, you're lazy. right, Thomas. Yep. Matthew's lazy. Especially since uh, he's not streaming tonight. He's just being lazy, sitting back, you know, just taking it easy. Yep, he's the laziest. And apparently our iceberg does not connect to the other section. That's a little annoying. Hashtag the laziest, says Matthew. That is true. I guess I'm moving back up here. I guess we lost Geeks and Boy. Yeah. Well. 
So I'm just wondering what kind of hair bear, uh, hair brain scheme uh, Matthew came up with for frightening little old lady today. And you never know with him. See, I want to warn her. We need to come up with an OLWS, the old lady warning system for whether Matthew's going out for a ride. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll just send out a general alert. <clears throat> Matthew's on the prowl. Yes, keep old ladies and uh, young children inside. Uh, we'll, we'll call it the Matthew alert instead of, you know, the Amber alert. Your schemes are pure genius. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm not sure about that, Matthew. They might have another word for it. They are purely Kurogan, though, which is not necessarily the same thing as genius, I'd have to say. I have to agree with you there, John. Yeah, you still don't have running water, do you? No. No, of course not. I didn't think so. Well, every once every once in a while a little water will come out, but boy, it's green and brown and smells bad. Ugh, that's not good. No. Well, I, I think uh, I think that's a, a genie. Thomas. The very creatively named Mountain. Very descriptive. Indeed. Whenever Krogan designed this map. Explain why it's so weird. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a possibility. Matthew's uh, got a really uh, sick-looking face there. What did you do this time, Matthew? Hard telling with him. Yeah, really. That's far enough for this run. I'll overextend myself. I'm going to force the three over here. There we go. Oh, he's talking about the uh, the brown water. That's what his face is uh, about. Well, it's the Kurogan. You should be used to that by now. Yeah. Don't we all have the same thing? Isn't that what God Emperor Berto Prey says all the time? Or all the citizens get the same thing? If you can trust what the God Emperor says. Well, you have a point. I'm not even watching the game. I'm watching the chat. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Hmm, somebody took out my 10 army. I'm going to do something about that. Oh, I, I see how it is, Matthew. We all get the same thing. We're both getting water. Uh-huh. That's... um. That's interesting way of thinking of it. <laughs> That's a good point, Thomas. Uh, if we all get uh, the same water, why can't you bike to me? Matthew, why can't you bike to where I work? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the excuses for that one. As am I.
Yes, I see how he's silent now all of a sudden. Uh, oh, uh, maybe. He says he has a simple reason. Well, we're waiting. That's because he's not water. Um, well, that's true. Well, you're mostly water. If I remember right, ugly bag of mostly water. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Let me see, is that part of is that one connected? Uh, yes, I do need that one too. A couple over there. Some more over here. There we go. Some reinforcing over here. There we're good for now. Now, Matthew, I, I kind of liked uh, Thomas's idea for the virtual pub. Now that is nine a.m. this Monday. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be there. Yeah, we'll all be there, but I bet Matthew won't be. Oh, he better be there. He advertised it for that time. Yeah, well, Matthew says a lot of things. Uh, that's true. I think he wants to set a new record for how late he can be to his own stream. Yeah, he might just beat Bird. But um, just for the record... Thomas's uh, topic for a pub night is uh, why is AT extremely wrong about triple timeline? Darren should be invited. I think that would be an exciting discussion. Lots of yelling, probably. Oh, most likely. Especially if you get LDG there. Oh, yeah. You see, orange only has six left. I might be able to take them out this round. Put a few up here. I thought that was a very good idea, Thomas. I'd like to see that on the next pub, which yeah. will be a morning morning pub. Oh, sure, Matthew, you got to run. Bit of code needs all of his limited brain power. Mm -hmm. Excuses, excuses. Yeah. We just love your excuses. Go that corner of the map. Let's see, maybe I'll start working on this area. Put a few here. Maybe I'll force my borders there. Maybe hit then head up this way. Oh, the Coliseum. Very exciting. Which is apparently next to the pyramid. Makes sense to me. Oh, sure. I guess. Oh, there's an arms dealer. It's definitely corroded. No doubt. Looks like there's something called... Laxas. Looks like uh, Matthew tried to write somebody's name there. That's very plausible. Because he abandoned us, so we can't ask him. But yeah. Oh, I bet he's still there. He's yeah. not coding.
that one more orange over there I gotta take out, and they'll be gone. Rip orange. Oh yeah, I forgot those two weren't connected. Because they got that blizzard in the way. Hmm. Matthew's fault. Ah uh, yes, that's definitely Matthew's fault. Well, I should put some more forces over there. I forgot those those areas weren't connected. Oh well. Let's go ahead and head up this way. This way, the hallway. I have enough to take out the engineers. 73. Give it a shot. There we go. Boom. Might as well move that to the lab while I'm at it. Uh, this is about as far as I can go at the moment. Should have put a few more people over here so I could get orange, but oh well. Okay, let's move, take these five over here, move them over here. Do I have a match of cards? I do not. Oh, moving into my territory. How's work going, Thomas? Uh, everybody's picking on blue. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I have 44 reinforcements coming. Of that end, you're everywhere, pretty much. Yeah, that too. I'm sure it's coincidence. I'm right? sorry. I'm sorry it's boring, Thomas. It'd be better if we had Babylon 5 to watch. But we know about Matthew and his plans. It was pretty boring at work tonight, too, Thomas. Uh, very slow night. Well, just stretch it out, Thomas. You've got one hour of work, five hours to do it. So just do it slowly. Take breaks. Think of new impeachment articles to add. Thomas wants to know what you and I are doing this Saturday night. I don't think I have anything planned. I do not have anything planned currently. Do you have anything in mind, Thomas? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to ask that. Yeah. Great minds. Indeed. All these in the separate little rooms here.
Uh, he says that maybe we can watch the Babylon 5 pilot or he can show what what he built so far in his new city. Both of those sound good to me. That sounds like fun, Thomas. Uh, your Minecraft creations are amazing. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm just amazed at what you do in your Minecraft cities. I wouldn't have the patience for it. You know, I tried playing Minecraft a few times because um, my kids were into it, but it just really wasn't my thing. But uh, you do great work. See if they can go all the way around the top there. And you have a mountain pass next to an office. Makes sense. Oh, well, Thomas is saying he's a noob, but um, doesn't look like it to me. Anyway, you're very talented. Yep. All right, you've got this game pretty much in hand. Yes, yeah, finish off in the kitchen. Well, that's a good place to end. It's true. And grab something to eat after your victory. Exactly. So, well, the AIs are pretty easy to beat. Playing against actual people is a lot more difficult. Oh, yeah, we got Jeopardy tomorrow night also. Well, I've, uh, as for the AI, uh, I've been playing Risk for a long time. I, mean, I, I used to play this board game like years ago. It's one of my favorite board games, so I got a lot more experience probably. Well, Thomas, I don't know much about Darren Wagner. I don't tend to watch the Friday Night movies. So, you know, I'm missing out on quite a bit of uh, easy points if I knew those things. Well, I guess I almost never know the daring questions either. I try to avoid that category as much as possible. Well, I, I get most of my stuff from the Star Trek categories. Yeah, I've noticed that. Ah, Tiki of Dooms here. Oh, Welcome. And Tiki says, troll, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I just got finished playing a game of Risk. Um, I could do more Risk or if there are like a, a few other games if anybody else has a preference. Like I have a Among Us, for example, if anybody wanted to do that. Thomas comments uh, that he knows nothing in the Darren category. In fact, when he played, he said, Darren, 500, and he would pass before he even asked the question. I think that's a good strategy. <laughs> now, now, you shouldn't pass automatically because maybe you do know the correct question. Although I don't know if anybody's ever gotten a Darren five hundred um, dollar question correct. Probably not. How's Tiki doing tonight?
If nobody else has any uh, preferences, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do a game of Among Us. Sounds all right to me. Let's get that mid, get that loaded up. Uh, Tiki says it's hot where he is. It's pretty hot here, too, but in Florida, it's always that way. Tiki, um, remind me where you're at. I think I ate too much. Getting sleepy. Uh-oh. Uh, Thomas says a 67 in Pittsburgh. That sounds nice. It does. It was 98 here, and it's currently probably about uh, 90. We've been having a lot of rain recently. It's been muggy, even more than oh. usual. It uh, it came down a bit. It's eighty four. Yeah, it was around ninety this afternoon, I think. Uh, Tiki says he lives in the Bay Area. Is that the Tampa Bay area? Are you in Florida? I'm sorry, I, I don't remember Tiki. Or do you mean San Francisco? Ah, Thomas, now don't spread rumors like that. It's supposed to hit triple digits here over the weekend. Ouch. Okay, I'd trade you, Tiki. Yeah, 79 sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so we can get enough people for a game. But if anybody wants to join us, the code is APAUIF. Ooh, sorry. That's all right. I probably won't be streaming that much longer anyway. Just had to do something because, you know, Matthew was ignoring us. Well, that's one of his pastimes. Indeed. I got a few people coming in. They're rather animated. Indeed. Uh, Tiki, oh. the the code is A P A U I F. Thank you. No problem. Got a lot of people coming in. We're almost full, up to eight people. Oh, back down to seven.
I don't know if you made it in or not, Tiki, but we got a full 10, so I guess I'll go ahead and start. If you didn't get in, we can try another one after this. Tiki says that uh, his game says he has to update, so maybe next time. No, that's too bad, but we'll do this again sometime. So my uh, game size to load. I suspect Matthew's influence here. No doubt. Oh, there we go. Two imposters among us. Starting records this time. So I'm on a crewmate, so let's see what kind of tasks I need to do by checking the map over here. Looks like there's something over here in the lounge. Ladies' tables. Oops. Well, that didn't take long. Wow, that was fast. What I've noticed before is that a lot of people, if it turns out they're not the imposter, then they'll just go mm -hmm. ahead and leave the game. So they don't have to end very quickly, even though we had a full 10. So if anybody else wants to join in, we got another chance. Same code. Oh, never mind. We were just connected. I thought to create a new one. We've got a new code, M-H-T-S-Z-F. That's in the chat. Oh. oh, thank you. So how did you come up with that name, Busy Home? Well, it used to be that Among Us, you could use whatever name you wanted. But in one of the recent updates, they changed it so that um, when you sign in, it you know, randomly generates names. Hmm, okay. So you did not come up with it? No. I cycled through a few until I found one that wasn't, you know, completely crazy. I think there's a map we're on, which is referred to as the airship, is a relatively new one. So hopefully we'll get a lot of uh, players in in a minute. And yes, Thomas, I think that was the reason. Because also in the game, when you're having meetings, when you're, for example, talking about who you think the imposter is, well, previously you could just basically type whatever you wanted. Now that you have to select from like preformed uh, responses. That makes sense, I guess. There's, I always have trouble figuring out where's the thing I actually want to say. Um, like, how do I say hello? Is that a response? Um, no. Apparently not. I don't even know how to say hello. Statements. No, I guess he's intended for inside the game itself. Eh. Close that. Okay, we're up to three now. Filling up slowly.
No, I'm sorry. This isn't the most fascinating thing to watch right now. Oh, that's not your fault. Ripe shoe. <laughs> He's going to take a look at the, the hats while we're waiting for the people to come in. Let's see. Uh, I have the zipper, but I'm only going to change it to something else. Anything look good to you, Professor? Or are you, anybody in the chat? How about the night one now? Uh, sounds good. Seven and eight. Start while I'll be starting momentarily. In case we lose more people again when they find out they're not the imposter. Nine, almost full. There we go, we got 10. Yay. Yeah, you know, stop making my screen go black, Matthew. I know it's you and your supposed coding that you're working on. He's not coding. He already had that made. Uh -huh. He's just implementing it. He's probably laughing. Sounds like the kind of thing he would do. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I'm the imposter this time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me see if there's some sabotage I can do. Set up the reactor here. Uh, they have uh, 83 and counting seconds to stop a crash. And if they don't, then the imposters automatically win. And even if they do shut down the sabotage, it does slow them down from their attacks. This person over here. Oops. I guess the other imposter is busy at work. So I've already got an, an accusation of a fussy cake. By me, it's suspicious. What did I do? Uh, okay, what should I say? Um, where? Standard question. Ninja seems convinced. Well, but since I'm the imposter myself, I should probably vote for Ninja. See if we can get rid of our accuser. It's, sounds like a plausible plan. Just need one more person to vote. Fuzzy Shop, that's you. Ooh, it's a tie. The plot thickens. Uh -oh. Shh, Thomas, you're not supposed to say anything. We're on his side, Thomas. Let's run the kitchen this time. Let's see what we got. Can I do some more sabotage? Yep, there we go. That way, yes, okay. Right over here, there's somebody. Yo, 
Zeus. Drew, don't mind me. I didn't do anything suspicious. I certainly didn't run into a wall when I'm trying to go through a doorway. Can I go that way? You I'm look not. innocent. Well, thank you. I'm glad somebody does. I guess I should just report it. Oh no, I found the dead body. I wonder who could have killed this poor person. I wonder. Let's see location. They were in, I think it was electrical where that was. Then we have a repeat of the Fussy Cake versus Ninja debacle. Vote Ninja. Sounds good to me. Uh oh, my uh, my comrade is gone. It's up to me now. Yes, there's a setting now that where you can have anonymous votes, whereas before it would say who voted for which person. There's all these dirty towels. Matthew's fingerprints all over it, I think. You can't go that way. In here? No. Just, uh, just if they accuse you. Blame Matthew. I mean, that's believable. Um, I think so. Anybody in here? Nope. So come in to fix the sabotage. That's all right, though. Let's do it again in a moment. Whoops. Oh, somebody found my handiwork. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted to ask where it was. Oh no, they all think it's me. I wonder what I could have done to make them suspicious. I wouldn't have a clue. And I thought the coast was clear. Yeah, well, I'm probably out after this. back. That's not what I meant. Somebody says Goral. Sure, why not? Gotta vote for somebody after all. Well, I guess I could skip, but where's the fun in that? I'll let the ninja now. Saw me vent while I didn't vent, even though I am the imposter. Because only only imposters can go inside the vents, although I usually stay away from the vents for that reason. Smart tactic. Thanks, although well, it didn't help me this time, apparently. Defeat. I'm going to try it one more time, see if I can get a victory. Boo. That's indeed. right. That's right, Thomas. Boo. You're in subbing. Oh, no. That's rather okay. harsh, Thomas. No, I'm not a huge channel like Matthew where I can afford to lose subs.
Or maybe you can at least give me one more chance. I'll see if I can pull out a victory this time. We're pulling for you. Well, I am. Uh, Matthew does buy subs. You're right, Thomas. Absolutely. We even have proof of that. I saw it on uh, on Twitch. Indeed. Ooh, we lost a ripe shoe. That's a shame. Oh, but it's the lore log. Well, I barely got to my mute switch in time. I sneezed. The allergies bothering you? Ah, uh, they're starting to. No. Uh -oh. Uh, I've been fine for last two or three days. Uh, yeah, if I don't get enough people in a minute, I might just go find a game to join, Thomas. Yeah, everybody else left, so I guess I should probably just do that. So we'll leave. See if we can find a game. I'll be oh. right back. Okay. I gotta blow my nose or something. No problem. Okay, we got only got five people. It looks like somebody's already ready to start. Oh, there's a few more. At Matthew, black screen of death. Any time now. The anticipation is killing me. There, finally. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, apparently I'm the imposter again. Who knew? There's my fellow imposter. Let's see if I can find a victim. I mean a crewmate. anybody over here. I guess I'll do some more sabotage. It's a big ship. Sometimes it's hard to find other people in this ship if it's not a full game. Some sabotage there. No, what well, I can't do sabotage there. Shame. Because that's, you know, kill people the old-fashioned way. There's that guy that just ran off. Oh, there we go. Come back here so I can kill you. Are you an imposter again? Apparently I am. I don't know. What are the odds? I'm going to find my handiwork here in a minute. What are you there? There. Take a look at the map. Oops, somebody found my handiwork. I don't know. I think you're learning from Matthew. This is not a good sign. Yeah. I 
And the reason I didn't kill the other one is because there is a cooldown period in between kills. You can't get to kill two right in a row. So let's see if anybody suspects me. They saying voo voo. Okay. Sure, why not? I'll vote voo voo. Aha, we got him. Hmm, still two imposters remain. Let's check the cargo bay. Let's see if I do any sabotage. There we go. Crash course. Any more unsuspecting souls here in the bathroom? Go that way, apparently. Map for a minute. Where am I? All right. Is anybody in medical? Okay, so I may have heard of the crash course. Let's see. I can't go that way either. Where is everybody? That's fine. No. Dead ends in here. Let's do another crash course while we're at it. Still haven't seen anybody. What they're all up to. Matthew probably has them locked away somewhere. Somebody? Oh, hi, how's it going? I meant to press. That's what I meant to press. Oh no, I found a body. There's only a couple people left. I wonder if I couldn't find anybody. Let's see, where is this? I think it's the armory. Looking for somebody to ask. There we go. So do I vote for Chico or do I vote for Light Arm? Eh. Uh oh, I guess I was being sus. Oh no. Oh, it's another loss. I guess you're going to have to unsub now, Thomas. No, don't do it, Thomas. No. Well, okay, I'll make a compromise with you. Um, you can unsub as many times as you want as long as you sub afterwards again. That should be okay. <clears throat> That's fair. And Hello, Robert, Robert Green. Green. Welcome. I'm glad you could join us. I'm probably about to wrap it up for the evening. Um, <clears throat> oh, I appreciate you all joining us. Sadly, uh, Matthew abandoned us again, so we couldn't watch Babylon 5. But maybe if we uh, nag him enough times, one of these days he'll actually do it. Probably. Well, Thomas says he won't unsub if Jeff plays Jeopardy tomorrow. <clears throat> wow. Trying to guilt trip me, are you? Ugh. Well you're not you're not gonna do that, Thomas. You're just gonna have to make up your mind on your own. I make things easier for me too. If um trivia versus Jeff would be a stiff competition. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but thank you. So 
So um, thank you for joining us, everyone. So I'm going to call it a night here, but uh, hope you all have a good night. Good night, everyone.